Well, the video, like something out of a movie, a water spout slams parts of Smith Island tonight, leaving behind a trail of damage in the little town of hundreds. Welcome to the news at 11, everyone. I'm Rick Ritter. And the big story tonight severe weather hammering our state. This water spout, as you can see, video unbelievable, tearing apart homes on Smith Island. Those of you there tonight now left picking up the pieces. At this hour, no update on any potential injuries. All right, let's get right over to First Alert meteorologist Derek Beasley as we have live team coverage tonight. And Derek, this is actually called a tornadic water spout, what touched down in Smith Island? Yeah, it was a tornadic water spout, and, it, and there's a difference between the two. You have a fair weather water spout, which is formed by different processes, but then you have another one called a tornadic water spout, which actually occurs from the parent rotation from a thunderstorm. What you're looking at here is a product we use all the time when we're talking about uh, rotating thunderstorms. This is called storm relative velocity, and it basically shows the winds blowing back and forth uh, in the storm. And what I want to turn your attention to is the circulation here that uh, actually moved across the Smith Island area this evening. You can see the counterclockwise rotation indicated by those maroon and green colors. And you can see how it approached Smith Island just before 730. And those greens and those maroon colors there showing that rotation. I'll also do this. I will turn on our tornado debris product. This is another thing that we use called correlation coefficient. It can pick up debris being thrown in the air. And what I want to turn your attention to is right here just after 730, where we see these blue colors here. That is a drop in the correlation coefficient, which coincides right here with the scale in the lower left part of your screen. That is debris that was picked up by the tornadic water spout as it moved across and started picking up buildings and destroying buildings there. So it was an actual <laughs> legit tornado. Uh, that occurred as a result of that uh, storm making its way across the area. So again, you can see the clear debris signature associated with that uh, tornadic storm as it moved across. So again, a very, very interesting and unfortunate situation, though, for those folks in Smith Island having to deal with that. But again, you can clearly see it right there as it moved across, picked up that debris, and it triggered the tornado retracker here, showing that drop in correlation coefficient indicating, again, that damage that did occur. Of course, that was just an isolated incident. We did have that tornado warning earlier from parts of uh, Baltimore County. That did not end up becoming anything confirmed, but that was the one right there. You see the video evidence, and there it is on radar confirming what we were seeing as meteorologists. Guys, uh, Rick, back over to you.